Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Naomi Amber. If you're new, what's good? Honestly, what can I say? You're in for a treat. Today I am super excited for this video. I've been thinking of doing this video for a long, long time. So, you guys know how Zara's website is kind of ridiculous. Kind of everywhere. The models, we don't really know what the models are doing. We don't, half the time they don't even put on the clothes. I saw this one picture of this girl modeling the clothes in the ocean. Don't know how we're supposed to know how those clothes look if she's in the ocean, but nevertheless, Zara is a little bit cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs when it comes to modeling their clothes on their website. And I thought it'd be a cute, fun video to style the clothes just like how the model styles the clothes on Zara's website. So I got all these items that I thought were pretty cute and I'm going to style them exactly how they were styled on Zara's website. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be a good time. But if you're interested, make sure you keep on watching and make sure you like this video and subscribe to your girl because... I say this every video, but we're on a road to 10k. But before we get started, I would love to thank Dossier for partnering with your girl yet again on another video. Super excited because these scents are really nice. Hold on. So I got two new scents. You already know the vibes. My Dossier collection is growing, but let's get into it. First things first, we have floral pink pepper, top notes bergamot, lychee, and orange, middle notes rose, jasmine, pink pepper, base notes patchouli, blonde woods, and vanilla. Inspired by Miss Dior, Cherie et de Parfum. Here is my girl. She is a I love the packet. Let's just take a minute to appreciate the packaging. It's so sleek, so minimalistic. You know, that minimal vibe is in right now, but let's get into the scent. Mm. This is going to be very a very specific scenario. This is given you're trying to get the attention of the church boy who's holding up all the, all the chairs in one hand to try and impress you. This is the scent that you wear. I know that was a very specific scenario, but take my word for it. That This is the scent that you wear for that very, very specific occasion. Reminds me of a Sunday morning. And next we have Oriental Cherry, Top Notes Cherry, Almond, and Cinnamon, Middle Notes Cloves, Rose, Jasmine, and Plum and base notes Peru, Balsam, Toka Bean, and Vanilla. And this is inspired by Tom Ford, Lost Cherry Eau de Parfum. And let's just, let's just talk about how I'm getting all these luxury scents at a fair price, okay? That I don't got Tom Ford money, but I can surely smell like it, okay? I don't really have many fruity scents in my collection, so I'm glad I got this one. Hold on, I'm gonna spray this for this, for this, because I like this one. Mm, oh, this is so sweet. So this is so sweet. This is something that you wear to like those day parties, a cookout. This is a nice brunch scent because it's so sweet. It plays into, you know, the whole daytime vibe. Mm, this is so cute. This is so sweet. I love this one. I'm so glad I have a nice fruity scent to add to my collection. Like I said, I do not have Tom Ford money, so luckily Dossier offers scents that are from $29 to $59. That's not going to break the bank. Trust me, it's worth it. And it's not like you're spending $200 on a luxury perfume and you're still getting the same quality, same scent. Okay, period. You also get free returns and exchanges forever. So if you don't really like it, you can, you, you return it. You can return it. You can get my suggestions. Get yourself an Oriental Cherry. And if you want multiple perfumes, you want three bottles, they offer great bulk deals on their website. And Dossier is always adding new scents, so they love customer recommendations. I know they just came out with a new scent, I think it's called Aquatic Coconut. It's supposed to be inspired by Replica Beach Walk, which I actually do have. So I'm excited, maybe I'll be able to try that one next for you guys. And did you know that Dossier donates all their return perfume bottles to a charity association? And they're trying to stay away from plastic right now, and they gave up the samples, but all orders are risk-free and able to be returned even if you don't have the sample and above all of this the perfumes are vegan and cruelty free with all clean ingredients and they have never been tested on animals okay be sure to use my code 10 naomi for some money off your next scent let's stop chatting thank you so much dossier for partnering with your girl again and let's get right into this video i'm just gonna use my phone for reference for the pictures that i got off the website so in this picture the girl is wearing this white zara dress 
and a white button up it looks like over it and then some brown heels I did get that white dress I've had my eye on this dress for a while it's so snatching body adi 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 okay and then the fabric I really hope it's not see-through I don't think it's gonna be see-through because of the material it is a ribbed material I would consider this like a midi dress yeah I would consider this a midi length but you guys will see in the try on portion and how how good I nailed this side by side comparison okay and I have plenty of button up dresses and white button up dresses white button up blouses so I will just pair it with this personally I would not wear heels with this outfit since it's such a casual dress but I do have these clear heels that I got from Shein um and they have like a beige kind of bottom so maybe that'll look nice I don't really know how this is gonna bang this is just for the fun of it you know for kikis and giggles but we're gonna see how it turns out in the try on portion what are we gonna rate this I am going to rate this outfit recreation a calm six five only because I don't know if I'm totally in love with the shirt over the dress kind of action. I don't know. Maybe if it, it was a different color shirt or I don't know. I just feel like we could play around with that a little bit more to make it more fun. But let's move on to the next outfit. So in this next picture, we have this yellow dress. And I was really excited for this dress. The model's not rocking it the way that I want her to rock it. But... It's okay because you gotta have the vision. So this is yellow dress and she's wearing white flip-flops, nothing too crazy. I have white flip-flops, but um here is the dress. I thought it was going to be oh this yellow is not showing up on camera, honey. The yellow's not really showing on camera. Let me come up closer so you guys can see. There we go. There we go. This is the true color of the yellow. The top part is more of a cottony fabric, and the bottom part is more linen. I think that's the right fabric pieces here I'm not too sure but it also has like this cupping at the boob area I don't know how much I'm gonna like this I'll do flip-flops for the fun of it but I would personally pair this with some like white strappy sandals I think that would look really cute and play into like this cute girly this is giving me what's that movie where the girl was in New York and she was a princess and she was singing with the birds and she was wearing dresses around New York City I don't remember the name of that movie, but this is what that this just rating this outfit. I'm going to give this outfit in terms of me recreating it. I'm gonna give it a nine, but I feel like it has potential to be a ten with some different shoes and different accessories. You know, you know, you know. So, okay, let's move on. Okay, so in this next picture, the girl is wearing this purple, like asymmetrical crisscrossy tank top, black leggings. Already got that, and some black flip flops. Okay, I have the purple top and of course i have some standard black leggings and then i'm just gonna pair with some regular black flip-flops i nailed this outfit rating 10. does it need more work i don't even think so because i when i saw that outfit i was like okay i'm, I'm inspired like this is an elevated errands outfit you know that's the vibes i'm feeling i'm not mad at this at all i really hope it fits me i got a small but it's looking quite small we're gonna see safest number as we gonna see because so this one is another one of those elevated errands kind of looks so it's just this sage green jumpsuit with these black flip-flops um but the flip-flops are more chunky this is a trend that i've been seeing a lot these chunky flip-flops um and zara does have a lot of them and like i said just another elevated errands outfit something i would do to spice this up is just to add like a black jean jacket um or any jean jacket really but since she's wearing black flip-flops I would put on a black jean jacket so I did get the jumpsuit quality the quality of this jumpsuit is it's so thick like I don't even know if I would recommend wearing this in the summertime that's how thick it is um yeah i just don't know if i'll wear it in the summertime and it also is double lined in the boob areas this part here is kind of long so i am a little bit worried but i do have a long torso but if you have a shorter torso that is something to keep in mind i think this is very much tall girl friendly i also got these black chunky flip-flops that are very similar to the ones that she wore in the photo i got these off of shein um shein haul coming soon so make sure you subscribe <laughs> i think in terms of ace in this outfit give me a 10 Give me my 10. Give me my flowers. Give me my credit. A 10. 
okay but let's move on to the next outfit similarly to the last outfit the girl is wearing these black sandals these black flip flops they look strappy sandals and then this yellow like smock i like this dress i really wanted to change up my style a little bit just a little little bit but i think i kind of went a little bit further out of my comfort zone with this one but it's okay because i think it's going to be cute nonetheless it's like more of like a creamy beige color it's showing up more yellow in this photo and then she's also wearing orange glasses i don't have orange glasses i mean i'm sure i could wear like some beige glasses anyway this is the dress and i got it in a size small definitely could have got it extra small don't know what i was thinking here um but this is the dress also again in that like linen material um kind of scared like not gonna lie don't really know where i was going with this one but we're just gonna have to see i think maybe i could look good in it you know who knows and i will pair with the same black flip-flops i just showed you guys but in terms of nailing it i'm gonna give myself a nine only because i don't have the glasses um and because i don't have the strap up flip-flops but it's the same concept same idea so i'm giving myself a nine i'm being generous okay, so in this picture the girl is wearing orange short sleeve cardigan and then she's wearing a matching orange bralette under it with some just regular blue jeans they look like straight leg jeans and also again some black flip-flops so you already know the deal it's gonna be the same black flip-flops from the last two outfits but i do have i'm in love with this outfit i think this is so cute so girly so in style here is the cropped cardigan it is such a vibrant orange it's really washing out on camera there we go it's this really vibrant orange color and then i do have the matching bralette both which i think can be worn separately you can wear something white underneath the cardigan you can wear the cardigan just by itself i mean with this bralette you can also wear it by itself too like i see no issue with wearing this by itself with some blue jeans and it being a vibiana i also do have a pair of wide leg zara jeans that i'm gonna pair with this outfit and in terms of nailing it again I'm gonna give myself a 10 because I did that. I look just like the model. I am the model. So in this next outfit, the girl is wearing a white sports bra. It looks like this cream skirt, some high calf socks. It looks like some dad sneakers. I do not have the dad sneakers, but here's how I'm gonna finesse. Okay. I do have this white top that I got from Shein like last year, which matches the top that she's wearing in the photo. Does give that sporty vibe, also very inexpensive. I think this is gonna fit nicely. It does have a good amount of stretch to it. Also very thick material, so I don't feel like this will be see-through and I have really bright lights on, so that is good. I think this is a very calm, chill fit. like. You know, you just want to run to the mall or something. I am going to pair this with my Air Force Ones in some high calf socks or whatever. Um, but I think that's a cute outfit nonetheless. Like, I feel like that's a nice, good staple. Like, an outfit that won't let you down, you know? So, I'm excited um, to wear this one. And I think that the model really killed this one, okay? For this next outfit, the girls wearing this really cute asymmetrical tank top. I love these. They really turn something very basic into something very elevated. Like I said, that elevated basic is really key here okay and then she just has on these white shorts i do have some white shorts that i got from zara a while ago um that went with another matching set so i think that this would look nice with it to be matchy matchy with the model and i do have the asymmetrical top i'm really excited for this top i think this is really like i don't think i'm gonna be able to put this down once i actually do start wearing it it's gonna be one of those basics that i wear all the time because i just think this is so fun i think this is really different really cool and i think you can probably even tuck this in if you wanted to and just have it as one shoulder which is like another thing that i've seen a lot of people wear so you know different ideas ideas in terms of rating, I don't even know. Did we rate the other ones? I think we did. In terms of rating the closeness, 10. 10, 10, 10. And I also give it a 10 on quality. Like, the quality is astronomical. Both of them are ribbed. And, yeah, when it comes to white stuff, I think ribbed is the best way to go if you don't want it to be see-through. So, love that. But let's move on. Last but not least, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not going to hit this one on a nail. But it's okay because I got something for y'all. I just got these leather shorts. I've been really in dire need of some leather shorts um i have leather joggers i have leather pants i have leather skirt but no leather shorts so i'm glad i got these i hope to god they fit oh my god i hope they fit 
um but in the picture the girl is wearing some black flip flops they love them some black flip flops on zara's website okay um some black flip flops got on this like white turtleneck yeah this is the closest thing that i have to what she's wearing in the photo which i also think won't be a bad vibe at all like honestly i think it's kind of spot on in terms of the idea of it so i think that this will work and then i'll just pair with the black flip flops you know same old thing so i will rate this i'm gonna give it i'm gonna give it a seven eight eight so i'm gonna give it an eight and let me know let me know do we have do we have any miss i feel like the models were pretty like they're pretty okay like, like they kind of didn't let the outfit wear them they kind of wore the outfits most of them most of them so i think we did pretty good i think this is so fun i love switching up the hauls and making it a little bit more fun and doing something a little bit different but i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks again to dossier for partnering with your girl be sure to use my code 10 naomi for some money off your next cent and i'll see you guys in my next video bye